Now, are we still under the law? Is the law sin? What truly is the law? Now, this is as regards to what many persons have really tried to understand and really tried to observe. The law, the law, the law, the law, you know. But I want you guys to really um, take note of something before we begin, that there is a definite term in scripture. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, do it to subscribe and hit the notification bell for important update that is going to come your way. Let's jump right into this video. There is a definite theme, all right, of scripture. If you understand articles very well, you understand there is a definite article. But before we go into that, we must understand something about the law. Now, every work of God is progressive. From the Old Testament down to the New Testament, the law, the Bible says the law was a guide or a schoolmaster that tends to usher them into the era of grace. But that's part of the fact that into the era of grace, we must really understand something, that grace does not eradicate the law all right now when the scripture made mention of the law as um, as the bible says and jesus said he has not come to destroy the law and the prophets but he has come to fulfill them but let me explain something when we make mention of the law we must understand the law definite term t-h-e the -E law so we must understand what law are we talking about the law of moses is not we are not subjected under the law of moses but but the law that we are subjected under is the law of the Spirit. And the scripture says in Romans chapter 8, he was talking about the law of the Spirit, that the law of the Spirit is life. So we are subjected under the law of the Spirit. But in the law of the Spirit, there are we can keep the law, all right, of Moses. Because there are some certain things there that we ought not to do via the leading of the Spirit. But the law of the Spirit, because in those days, the law, it was written. It was written on, a, on like a, a scroll. Right, the law was written like it's on, on his scroll, and they were expected to follow that. And that is, was difficult because there was no propelling force, all right, there was no indwelling ability that can enable them to fulfill that. So they were following the law carnally, and that is why the Bible says that the law is sold under sin. Okay, that is why Paul was stressing as regard and emphasis of the law that he made mention that the law, when you follow the law, this and this and this, because you can't really follow the law, all right with your human capacity your human framework and that is the reason why many persons don't really understand the functionality of the holy spirit because they think that ah since the bible is there let me just just any you say thou shall not kill okay i will not kill and guess what they went to uh, for to go and kill since this one say okay i will not do it because you are flesh all right so you must be tempted at all point so the law of the old that's the law of moses was written in a book or in a co or, or written in a scroll and the law of the new is now imprinted in our hearts and is now being uh, effective via the functionality of the Holy Spirit. So the law of Moses, we are not subjected under that law, but we are subjected under the law of the Spirit. Now the law of the Spirit, if you understand the law of the Spirit, it goes beyond the Ten Commandments. The law of the Spirit goes beyond the Ten Commandments because there are some basic things as you walk with the Spirit. That is why I want you guys, um, what I really want in this channel is as yes, as regards being students of the School of the Spirit okay not student of logic now if you understand the school of the spirit you understand that there are some certain laws that the spirit of the lord will give you that is not even written in the bible there are some certain times the spirit of the lord say don't visit so and so the spirit of the lord say stay indoors they are not written in scriptures right that's what you must follow because it goes beyond what has been written whatever law has been written it goes beyond because it is an in keeping that law the holy spirit have empowered us that he have um, spoken and in keeping that law if you can just subject yourself to his leading then you are on the right path so the law is as regards we are not subjected under, under the law of moses we are subjected under the law of the spirit via the law of the spirit we can keep those laws all right via the law of the spirit there are some there are so, some of those laws that we are written to the israelite to the, to the children of israel i made mention sure that the bible was not written to us but for us there are some of those laws that we are not expected and permitted to keep again because those laws were just on a functionality of okay um these people because of their hardness of their hearts because of their stiff neck attitude so let's just bring so and so like there are some feasts there are some um, festival feasts that was um that was done away with when christ came all right there are some of those feasts there are some of those um uh, celebration and some of those things that were done away with when Christ came. For example, like 
killing of lamb, and so on and so forth. When Christ came, he, it eradicated. So, following the Spirit of the Lord, you understand that we are under the law of the Spirit. All right? Now, via the law of the Spirit, we can keep setting laws on ground because it is the Spirit that empowers us. I'll see you again on the next video.